friends i welcome you all to my channel engineering nation today we are discussing about a topic that is transmission media so what is transmission media how it's work and the and the other things that we want to know about transmission media let's get understand about it here so let's get started the so the first question is what is transmission media so in a data transmission system the transmission media is the physical path between transmitter and receiver so transmission media is a path through which the data flow transmission media connects the sender and receiver uh, through so which the data can be flow between both of the entities so transmission media is nothing but it is a path it is a physical path where data flow so transmission media are actually located below the physical layer and are directly controlled by the physical layer so it is actually controlled by the physical layer so what is physical layer and how it controlled so what is physical layer physical layer is actually nothing but the sender or receiver so it is a layer of sender or receiver so let's get understand this by in a pictorial way so this is a sender this is a physical layer and this is a receiver this is also a physical layer so the sender is connected with a transmission media it can be a wired or non wired and again this wired or non wired transmission media is connected to the receiver so this is the pictorial way of physical layer physical layer is sender and receiver which controls the transmission media how the data flow and what amount of data can be flow through transmission media is controlled by the physical layer. so now let's understand the hierarchical structure of transmission media transmission media are divided into the two parts that is the first part is guided media and the second part is unguided media guided media can also be called as wired media and unguided media can also be called as wireless media transfer uh, transmission media so guided media contains the three topics that is the first is twisted pair cable twisted pair cable is again divided into the two parts that is the shielded twisted pair cable and unshielded twisted pair cable the second here is coaxial cable and the third here is fiber optics cable let's get move to the unguided media in unguided media there is a radio transmission and microwave transmission so this is the hierarchical structure of transmission media the divisions the types and the further types are here factors to be considered while choosing transmission media there are the many type of factors that we have to choose so that we can choose the best suited transmission media there are some of the basic transmission some of the basic factors uh, are here the first is transmission rate so what is transmission rate transmission rate means the bits per second if we want the higher transmission rate then we have to choose some other transmission media so transmission media is one of the uh, key factors so that we can select the best suited transmission media for our use the second is cost and ease of installation if we want the low cost if we want the low cost and uh, if we, and the ease of installation then there are the some other type of uh, transmission media so cost and ease of installation is one of the factors the second the third is resistance to the environmental condition uh, if uh, we want the higher resistance to, uh, to the environmental condition then there are the some set other sets of transmission media so this is one of the also a key factor for considering uh, considering transmission media for our use and the distance the fourth is distance so that if we want the if we want the long distance transmit long distance communication so there are the some other type of transmission media for short distance there are some other type of transmission media so distance also one also plays the key role for factor so for considering the transmission media for considering choosing transmission media so there are the four type of uh, factors basic factors that they are the facts basic factor there are the more type of uh, there are the many uh, factors but are the basic factor that we have to choose from them what is guided media it is a transmission media in which signal are confined to a specific path using wired or cable basic guided media are twisted pair cable coaxial cable and fiber optics cable so these are the basic guided media. so now let's get understand what is twisted pair cable
वॉट इज ट्विस्टेड पेयर केबल ए ट्विस्टेड पेयर केबल कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू कंडक्टर नॉर्मली कॉपर इच विथ इट्स ओन प्लास्टिक इंसुलेशन ट्विस्टेड टूगेदर एज शोन इन द पिक्चर बिलो सो दिस इज ए पिक्चर ऑफ बेसिक पिक्चर ऑफ ट्विस्टेड पेयर केबल हियर देर इज ए इनर कंडक्टर विच इज प्रोटेक्टेड बाय अ इंसुलेटर बोथ हैव ए सेपरेट इंसुलेशन द आउटर लेयर इज ऑल्सो प्रोटेक्टेड बाय ए केबल जैकेट सो दैट कैन बी एनवायरमेंटल रेजिस्टेंस one of the wire is used to carry a signal to the receiver and other is only used for ground reference why this cable is twisted so the answer is the purpose of twisting in twisted pair cable is to remove or canceling out electromagnetic interference that is emi from the external sources there are the two types of uh, twisted pair cable the first is unshielded twisted pair cable and the second is the shielded twisted pair cable so let's get understand one by one here is the first unshielded twisted pair cable it can be also called as utp in unshielded twisted pair cable there is no shield provided only two twisted copper wire with their own color plastic insulator so there is the no shield provided in the unshielded twisted pair cable this is the pictorial uh, uh, of unshielded twisted pair cable here there is a conductor copper wire which uh, which is insulated by plastic or pvc so this is a twisted copper wire and uh, outer plastic cover so that it can be protected by environment Unshielded twisted pair cable are very cheap and easy to install but they are badly affected by the noise interference because they are not shielded so that's it that is why the shielded twisted pair cable come into the existence so now let's get understand what is this shielded twisted pair cable it can also be called as stp shielded twisted pair cable has a metal foil to cover each pair of insulating conductors it reduces the interference of the noise but make the cable bulky and expansive this is the pictorial way of shielded twisted pair cable here it is a twisted pair cable and it is a metal foil that is called as shielded foil that that is why this uh, twisted pair cable is called as shielded twisted pair cable because it has a shield called metal foil comparison between utp and stp so there are the various type of parameters through which we will compare both of the twisted pair cable the first parameter is data rate in utp the data rate might be 10 to 100 mbps whereas in stp the data rate might be 150 mbps now second parameter is cable length the cable length here in utp it 100 meter max whereas in stp 500 meter max so what is mean by max max mean it can get we can get the speed of 10 to 100 mbps in the 100 meter max length the same is in the stp if the 500 meter max the cable is then we can get the 150 mbps so the speed and the length are dependent on each other the third parameter is electrical interference in utp that is unshielded most interference and cross talk occur so it is unshielded that's why there is a most interference and cross talks occur whereas in shielded as is shielded there is no or less interference and cross talk occurs so shield provides the low less interference whereas unshielded provide the most interference so these are the major difference between both of the twisted pair cable installation in utp the installation is easy whereas in stp very easy to install both of are easy so that is the one of the also comparison and the third is cost the utp is a lowest cost whereas in stp it is a little costly why it is little costly because it has a shield it has a bulky structure it is a heavy structure that's why it has a little cost than the utp but 
in STP the interference and the crosstalk doesn't occur or less occur but here is but in the UTP it most occur so these are the comparison between UTP and STP now let's get understand what is coaxial cable what is coaxial cable coaxial cable is a cable which has two conductors that are parallel to each other hence that's why this cable is called as coaxial means at the same axis both of the wire are at the same axis that's why this cable is named as coaxial cable here is the pictorial diagram of coaxial cable the first and the rightmost uh, is inner conductor inner conductor is a main conductor of coaxial cable it is surrounded by insulator insulator may be plastic or pvc or any other thing which is over uh, in over the insulator there is a outer conductor that can be also work as a shield of inner conductor again over the outer conductor there is a jacket which protects the outer conductor and again the out uh, again the jacket there is a plastic cover which protects the overall structure of coaxial cable from environmental effects coaxial cable has an inner core which act as a inner conductor and also contain the outer conductor which act as a both shield against noise as a second conductor. so outer conductor has a both of the facility it can also conduct uh, electricity it can also conduct data plus it can shield the inner conductor against noise or any other attenuation problem so this is the best suited co cable for transmission over a long distance there are the two type of coaxial cable the first is base band and the second is prod band so let's get understand what is base band base band is used for transmission of digital data it is mostly used for lands lands mean local area network base band transmit a signal at a time with very high speed the major drawback is that it requires amplification after every 100 feet. So what is broadband? Broadband is used for transmission of analog signals. So friends, let's get compare both of that. Here in the baseband, the digital signal is, is transmitted. Whereas in broadband, the analog signal is transmitted. So they are the both of the two differences here. It is mostly used for cable te television uh, cabling and uh, it transmits several uh, simultaneous signal using different frequency. We can send the signals, we can send the simultaneous signal by using the different frequencies. So this is the major advantage of broadband signal and the third and the fourth is it's cover large area when compared with the baseband coaxial cable. Yes. We can actually we can actually use the broadband in a very really large area as compared to baseband. Baseband can limit itself in a certain amount of certain amount of area, whereas broadband has no such content, no such limitations. So baseband ha broadband has a the wide area of compression. Actual coaxial cable. This is a coaxial cable before cutting. If we cut this coaxial cable, then it's look like that after cutting. Here, this is a outer conductor. This protects the inner conductor from noise. And plus, this conductor also conducts the data or electricity. Yeah, where is the, this is a inner conductor, which is the main conductor, which is protected by this white layer of conduct insulator and the black portion is a uh, hard plastic jacket which protect the overall coaxial cable from environmental effects so what is fiber optics cable now we are in the phase of understanding fiber optics cable what is fiber optic cable and fiber optical cable is made of glass or plastic and transmit signal in the form of light in fiber optics the data is transmitted in the form of light how let us understand 
फाइबर ऑप्टिक्स यूज द फिनोमिना ऑफ टोटल इंटरनल रिफ्लेक्शन टोटल इंटरनल रिफ्लेक्शन इज इन रिफ्लेक्शन इज द फिनोमिना ऑन ऑफ फिजिक्स थ्रू विच द लाइट प्रोपोगेट इंटरनली अगेन एंड अगेन दिस इज द बेसिक डायग्राम ऑफ ऑप्टिकल फाइबर केबल द ऑप्टिकल फाइबर केबल कंटेन core and cladding acceptance cone this is and the arrow shows the light propagation so this is the basic diagram of fiber optic cable so let's get understand how fiber optics work here in detail so this is supposed to be a fiber optics here this is a cladding and this is a core and this is a encoder decoder and this is a digital data digital signal in both of the side of encoder and decoder digital signal digital signal is encoded in the form of light and light is transmitted over the fiber optic cable like this way in the this is a phenomena of total internal reflection and after reaching to its destination it is decoded again in the form of digital signal hence we get the digital signal uh, in the form of light with the help of encoder and fiber optics propagation mode mode multi mode single mode multi mode are again divided into the step index and the credit multi mode multi mode is named because multiple beams from a light source move through the core in different paths there are there are the two type of multi mode the first is step index and the second step index fiber in multi mode step index fiber the density of the core remains constant from the center of the edge A beam of light moves through this constant density in a straight line until it reaches the interface of the core and cladding. At the interface there is an abrupt change due to low density. This alters the angle of the beam motion. The term step index refers to the suddenness of this change which contributes to the distortion of the signal as it passes through the fiber. graded index fiber a second type of fiber called multi mode graded index fiber decreases this distortion of signal through the cable the word index here refers to the index of refraction the index of refraction is related to density a graded index fiber is one with varying density density is highest at the center of the core and the decrease gradually to its the low advantage of fiber optics the first is higher data rates the second is immunity to electromagnetic interference and the third is resistance to corrosive materials and the fourth is lightweight where is the disadvantage of fiber optics cable is here the first is it is not easy to install and the second is it is a highly cost as compared to other transmission media so here we complete the guided path of transmission media for unguided part of transmission media we can you can watch my next video thank you for watching my video you can like subscribe and share this video so that you can get the latest update of my videos if you have any query any doubt then you can comment below comment box thank you for watching my video you can like subscribe and share this video so that you can get the latest update of my videos if you have any query any doubt then you can comment below comment box